Okay, Leo, you love Aries. You love Aries. You love Aries. You love the freshness of Aries. What was started in Aries is then um, amplified in you. What is started at the beginning is then joyful and played with in Leo. So you love to start. Utilize this right now. Utilize this ignition energy, this life, this starting cannon, this boop, this bop, this beat, zip, zop, zap. <sighs> oh, trigger warning. If you don't like sweat, this is not your video. It is four pum on the Maui and I'm a hot mess. However, I mean, just look at this. I am so excited to film these full moon videos here on the Mauis. Um, there's a lot of really fun things going on with this full moon. The degree of the sun and the moon are at eight. The sun has Chiron and Venus, right? Also at eight degrees next to it. This is big. This is healing, this is value, this is focus. It's Aries and Libra, so we're saying I, I am balanced with my feelings, balanced with the moon, balanced with reverence, balanced with air, life, relationships. I am maintaining my individuality. So with that said, enjoy and you're welcome. Okay, the trees are raining on us. Cue Lady Gaga song. What was exalted in Pisces season regarding how you love yourself? Do you know? Here's your, ooh, here's your heart of the matter, which is the last card drawn for Cancer. And I guess I did thorough shuffle. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, Leo, here is what your opportunity is for this moon. You need to see the different perspective regarding groundedness in a grounded, rooted way. This card is, is, is very um, hanged man-esque, but in, spe in specificity to earth, in the element of earth, coin, the element of coin. Your chore, finances, but also what it means for you to be grounded. Also what it means for you to be rooted in your adventure, in your journey. Now, when we do that, when we allow ourselves to root and allow ourselves to root in a different, more correct way, we exalt. These are all right side up. We exalt our temperance, our patience, our ability to mix oil and water. We exalt our chariot, our manifestation, what we've done it before, therefore we can do it again. And we also exalt our hierophantism. We exalt our healer. We exalt our intuitive healer. We exalt the tarot reader, the priest, the astrologer, the shamanic healer, the healer. Now, if you can't do this, you don't have to do this. You can go to somebody else. You can go seek help. You can go seek energy work. You can go seek clarity. But this is ready for you to seek. That's what this means. Oil and water, time, 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 time. Patience, patience, patience. You've been working so hard during COVID. You have been really having a bitterly bopple with COVID. Manifestation. Jump on the chariot's back and do it again. You've done it before, you can do it again. And you've done it beautifully. You've done it beautifully. So stop questioning whether you can do it again. If you're bugabooing, go see a healer. Simple, bye. Okay. I love filming these videos, they're so fun. So, if you want to go on a journey, watch the Libra through Pisces. Um, what came up was pretty profoundly magical. I had a great time.
<laughs> Here's the other thing that I want to say. Uh, in order to understand balance, you have to know what you're trying to balance. You have to surrender to A in order to understand how it affects B. Then you have to surrender to B in order to understand how it affects A. You can't balance things that you don't know what they are. Libra is the scales, right? You have two bags. You want to find the balance between these. I have something in this one. There's nothing in this one. Therefore, what do I need to put in this one in order to make it balance this? You have to open it up. Well, what is in here? Okay, this is a boop boop and a boop boop and a bop bop. Okay, what do I need to put in this one then? This is a boop boop, this needs a bop bop and a biddle a diddle. Then you say, okay, now I understand how to balance these two things. Open up your subconscious, this moon. Open up your feminine center. Open up your receiving center and say, I want to know what is in here so that I can... <laughs> Hello! I want to know what is in here so that I can then balance myself. Mm. I want to know what is in here so that I can understand value, so that I can understand healing, so that I can understand reverence, beauty, and love. The Patreon exploration was stunning. It is live. Patreon, Sensible Paul. No dollar amount. Go on over there. Sign up. There's. I'm going to put so many videos of, of um, Maui check-ins. So go there. Also, hashtag sun sign. What sign are we in? What season are we in? Aries. So I'm doing a year project. 12 workshops, one for each season. Each workshop will be filled with people of that sun, moon, or rising placement sign. So we filmed the Aries one. It's available on my website. Go check it out. Um, it's, it's a really good exploration. And it's so fascinating to put people who are all Aries in the same room and be like, oh, personalities. Yes, I love it. It's fascinating. If you have any Aries placement, if you just want to understand the season, this is for you. Also, on the 11th of April, I'm doing an 11 workshop. 11 is the master number of portal of the master intuitive. If you want help understanding your intuition and mastering your intuition, then this would be a great workshop for you. This workshop is going to happen 11 times this year. Yes, I'm doing a total of 23 workshops this year. This is, y'all, have fun. This is a great time. A great, 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 beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time. Um, and I'm here for you. I'm here for you, and I love you. If you want also another adventure, go check out the website, paulflanagan.com. Kyle Anderson built it from scratch, hashtag code, and uh, he did amazing too, Peterson helped, and I could not be more grateful for the two of them. So go check that out. PaulFlanagan.com. That's also where you get all the things. All the links. All the things. Blessings.